Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Today we're making a tea towel dress with a new sewing technique. So let's get started. The supplies needed and also the free pattern download is in the description box below. Cut out your pattern piece and then place the trim in the center of the neckline and if your fabric is directional, be sure to put it on the correct side. And now pin around the neckline and then we're going to sew with a quarter of an inch seam allowance. And be sure to back stitch at the beginning and the end of your stitching. And once sewn, trim corners, turn, and iron. And then we're going to do a top stitch all the way around the neckline. And I also offer my one of a kind tea towel dresses in my Etsy shop, and the link's in the description box below. And now we're going to begin the new technique. What I like to do is pin one side of the sleeve and then we're going to roll the opposite side and make like a sandwich. Match your seams right sides together, pin and sew. And now we're going to sew at a quarter of an inch. And I'll sew backstitch at the beginning and the end of sewing. And now it's time to trim the corners. Be sure not to cut through your seam line. And now turn right side out. Thank you. 
And now using a dowel rod or a chopstick, you can push out the sleeves. And now we're going to repeat the same technique. Now we're going to iron and then turn in where the skirt's going to be inserted one half of an inch and iron. And now it's time to attach the buttons. And now with just the top piece of the fabric, I'm going to pin and sew the trim. And now it's time to prepare the kitchen towel. Cut in half and serge. If no serger is on hand, be sure just to zigzag. And now it's time to make the pleating for the skirt. Now we're going to attach the towel skirt to the bodice. Be sure to stay stitch or back stitch at the beginning and the end of your stitching.
And for the ties, I use one and a half yards of gross grain ribbon. And now I'm adding decorative trim to the bottom of the skirt. Complete the trim I hand sew. At the time of filming this, this is October and Christmas is just around the corner, so I'm going to leave the playlist for the Christmas in July series. Make some great holiday gifts as well. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy sewing, and see you next time.